Hey, Jim Maurice here with you again on JON for another uh, behind the scenes episode. And what you see behind me isn't real, it's just fake. It could be described as maybe the largest video game in the world. But we're at the training facility for the Monticello Nuclear Generating Facility. But have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes at the real plant? Uh, today we're going to find out as we go behind the scenes on WJON. The first thing you'll notice when you drive up to the facility is the high level of security. No one gets onto the grounds without prior approval. All vehicles are inspected and your personal credentials are checked and rechecked repeatedly. We'll take your identification, we ask you for your social security number, we have a list of people that aren't allowed on a nuclear power plant, we'll check you against that list. Mm -hmm. The other thing is we'll observe you for a few minutes, I don't know if you knew that, but people were watching you oh. as you were filling out your security. Getting inside the nuclear reactor itself requires going through another secure area similar to what you would see at an airport. An approved employee at the plant must escort all visitors at all times. There's also a heavy presence of armed security guards constantly standing watch. Uh, they were watching me watch you. Okay. They were making sure I observed the proper precautions for bringing visitors in. Mm -hmm. A three-foot thick wall surrounds the nuclear reactor which eliminates the threat of a plane being flown into the facility. Another key component is safety. There are several levels of nuclear safety with many federal regulations. Workers and guests wear an electronic device inside the reactor that keeps track of radiation exposure. When you leave, you also go through a radiation detector. Uh, Monticello operates under a, a federal license. Uh, and then as we went in the plant, we saw the various levels of safety, redundancy, right? Before we could get in the reactor building, we went through two doors, mm -hmm. not one. Mm -hmm. Xcel Energy, which owns and operates the nuclear generating plant, is also very proud of its ties to central Minnesota. They have a lot of graduates of SCSU's mechanical and electrical engineering programs on their staff, and a lot of their 500 employees live in the Monticello to St. Cloud region. Uh, we have, uh, 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 yeah, I would say 50% of the plant staff lives in probably the greater Monticello area. The other 50% like me, the Twin Cities, St. Cloud. We do a lot of business with St. Cloud businesses, a lot of business with Monticello, a lot with the Twin Cities. It began operating in 1971, and they have a license to run the plant at least until the year 2030. Jim Maurice, WJON News.